Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below. And as well, um, as Tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me, uh, there are eight Tarot classes available at the website as well. Currently for the upcoming week, uh, the Tarot class for the Major Arcana is going to be on a flash sale, reduced cost with a 30%, uh, dropping it from $150 to $110. So if you are interested into that, message me on my Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale. That being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. So, uh, we have Aquarius Sun Moon and as well rising in our hands. And uh, let me shuffle the tarot cards. The first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be uh, Aquarius' love and romantic uh, experiences throughout the upcoming week. And uh, let's see what you got, guys. Right, the first card for you is going to be the Six of uh, Swords, followed by the Knights of a Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Page of Swords. And the last one is going to be the Hierophant. So that week describes a somebody that is trying to keep up the pace with you. Um, that could be your current partner. You know, that could be as well a suitor of yours or somebody brand new that you are to uh, that you are to pretty much stumble upon. Um, the thing is that uh, with having the Knights of Pentacles into uh, this particular position, the second one, these people, they are uh, even worse than perfectionists. Okay, They just want everything to be perfect and even more than perfect before they make some certain move, for example, telling you how they feel, you know, for example, surprising you pleasantly with a gift or something like that. So obviously you may find yourself in a situation where you're waiting something to happen, you know, that individual to make a move and that move never comes about. Now it doesn't come about not because that individual is uh, it doesn't have any interest to make the move. It is because it is just because they are waiting for the perfect moment, and in their mind or in their imagination, if you will, the perfect moment never can be translated in the reality. So they can never have the perfect the perfect moment they want. So what is the solution of that? Well, obviously you have to undertake the initiation and that is pretty much described here with the Six of Swords where you have to cross the threshold that it is meant for them to be crossed. Of course, you have a choice. Uh, you may decide not to do it, okay? And that will be perfectly understandable. But bottom line is, is, is that if you do have the awareness and say the courage, if you will, to traverse that threshold, that will significantly going to improve your uh, uh, circumstances. Now, we do have the Page of Swords into the third position, and that is a, a friend of yours, something that, that is pretty much somebody that pretty much supports you in your uh, love adventure or into your love environment. That, that's not a lover of yours, okay? That, that could be just a, uh, a good friend, um, cumulative one in between you and that Knight of Pentacles that pretty much um, banishes away the doubts that you may have in regards to the Knight of Pentacles uh, intentions. Uh, for example, you may wonder, does that person still interest in you or not? And the Page of Swords, which is a community friend once again is going to um, confirm that they are still interest, interested. It's just, you know, they, they don't know how to do it. So bottom line here by the end uh, with the Hierophant card, it is that this thing should normalize or that lack of harmony in between you and that individual should normalize. The stronger the connection in between you both, 
the more likely it is that the situation is going to normalize, so meaning that this person will no longer going to be hesitant and no longer will gonna strive for such a big perfection. However, if your uh, connection with that individual is very fresh, for example, you just recently met, uh, then the Hierophant undertakes another manifestation and that is the manifestation of a, a profound conversation and even counseling if you will I mean you can counsel that person and I reassure them that even if they do something that it is out of perfection that is not going to hurt them by uh, hurt them by a large margin but the bottom line with the hierophant at the end it is that whatever problems you do experience and you do have in your interactions current interactions uh, they can be resolved if they are talked about within the framework of your current interactions and your current uh, current relationship and what is the reason to have the, the hierophant at the end well the reason is trust the more trustworthy you become to your partner or your partner become to you the more the bigger longevity your um relationship marriage or interaction has obviously um, unyielding trust means to indomitable or leads to a indomitable relationship so that was about your love and relationship live aquarius now let's have a look what you are to experience in terms of a uh, career Right, so first one is going to be the Lover's card. Moving next, we do have the Judgment, followed by the King of Wands, and the last one here that we do have, that is to be the Page of Cups. So, unlike the relationship uh, type, uh, the, the relationship reading, this one is rather very serious. Um, I mean, you do have a very important decision to make in terms of your career. Uh, the decision is from a big uh, is with a big impact for what it seems or so you will think although the impact is not going to be that big in the long run but you are nonetheless going to be rather quite stressed until you get that decision now when I say stress I don't mean that you are going to be afraid it is just you would want that decision to be already taken and just get on with it um, like I said, the decision that you will have to make has no right nor a wrong um, answer, okay? Um, the example that I like to give in those kind of cases is say you are looking for a job and you do find two jobs. Now, one is a job that you would hate doing, but in the same time pays very well. The other job is something you would love to do, but in the same time doesn't pay nearly enough. I barely will allow you to meet your end, to, to meet ends, okay? To meet ends of your life uh, or of your environment. Uh, so what you're gonna choose, I mean, obviously if you do have a family, you gotta choose what you have to, that is the, 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 the well-paid job and hate yourself every morning, waking up, having to go there, performing the, those annoying tasks and coming back from work, but knowing that you have fed your family. Or, but if you are single, you can definitely go for what you want. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, you are not gonna have enough money to afford you luxuries and these kind of stuff, but at least you are going to be content every day going at work. Uh, and such kind of a choice from that magnitude, you will have to, uh, you will have to make. So, uh, what is the positive aspect of the week itself in terms of your career? Well, you do have somebody who is watching on you, trying to decide, are you going to fit with their plan or not? Uh, that is the this king of a wands. And it's very similar if we do have the king of swords here. But the king of swords is kind of quite objective in a sense of that they will see that are you fitting or not and if you don't fit even by a smallest margin they're gonna pretty much stop paying attention on you while the king of wands it's more tolerant if you will if they see that you can fit but you don't have what it takes currently 
they will help you do it while the king of swords never going to do that so uh that being said you may uh get to know somebody or somebody could come you know to you with a proposal or something like this that will pretty much uh, revitalize your enthusiasm for moving forward into your career say that could be your boss that comes to you and tells you that based on your decision uh, you can have that project or this project and they're going to help you in either of those uh, the bottom line here is that whatever ambition you do have, you are to have somebody that will support you through that ambition. And regardless of what situation you're finding yourself right now, uh, you are going to maintain your positive outlook for the ambition itself. And whatever decision you do make throughout the week in regards to uh, your career, at the end of the week, you're going to find yourself looking into the future because you are going to see that a big change is looming from there change that will make you stop being so stuck with the uh, irritating details of the path of the present i'm sorry and instead you are going to attend to the overview of the future itself that will allow you to connect yourself emotionally better with the future itself so you are going to pretty much love what is about to happen to you and uh will also make you much more easier to make a reassessment of your current position as a job, what job you're working, what kind of a project you're working, what kind of a place you're taking, and will give you enough time to uh, re reposition yourself in such a way that you can make the most out of the change that once again it's looming on the horizon. So pretty much that is uh, the career tarot reading for you. Uh, obviously, those who are uh, jobless, uh, according to that reading, they have a two jobs to choose from, or what kind of a decision, or, or two dis or a decision to make in regards to yeah, it's it should be two jobs for you to choose from, and like I said, neither of them is going to be uh, better than the other. So don't hesitate much, but just go with you know whatever you need. At that moment and yeah that was uh, that was your reading Aquarius hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and um, we may see each other next time until then bye